Hey, welcome back to Cooking with Mark and Oreo. It's been a while. Oreo's a little tired from his uh, afternoon walk, but he's excited to be back here making another video for you guys. Uh, one of my favorite gay YA writers, Robbie Couch, brand new book out. Um, so I wanted to make a recipe from the book um, because I got a recipe um, from Ben's world famous Blue Velvet Brownies, which is from the book. Um, every time I read a scene involving this bakery and these brownies, I had to, to have them, had to try them. So I reached out to Robbie for the recipe. Voila. So we're going to make them. In a pan, I have one and three quarter cups of butter melting. And then I'm also going to add, let's see what the recipe calls for, eight ounces of white chocolate chips. So I'm going to add that right to the butter. And with a rubber spatula, I'm going to just mix that in as it melts. And then I'm going to mix the rest of the ingredients as well. So I'm following the recipe. It's not mine, um, but we'll see how it goes. All right, so we're going to start with a bowl. We have our whisk. We have, we're going to whisk together two eggs, two whole eggs, two egg yolks. And we're gonna do one and a quarter cup of white sugar and one tablespoon of vanilla extract. All right, and I'm gonna whisk that together. All right, so I have my melted butter and my melted white chocolate. I'm gonna add it right to the mix. So I'm gonna use a rubber spatula to get it all out. And then I'm gonna whisk that together. Uh, and I'm back again. Again, we're making blue velvet brownies uh, from If I See You Again Tomorrow by Robbie Couch. He also is the author of The Sky Blues and also Blame for the Wind, which was his first book. I've read all his books. His books are amazing. You should definitely check them out. Um, so next step, this is the fun part. You want to add some blue food coloring. The more the blue, the better. In the bakery, in the book, everything was blue. So I'm going to do a couple of drops. I'm gonna whisk it together to see how blue it is. Ooh, perfect color. Yeah, look how nice and blue that is, perfect. All right, now time to add the drier ingredients. We have three quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Then we have one and three quarters cup of white flour. I'm gonna put that in there right there. And then instead of wet whisking it, you're gonna use a spatula or Oh, rubber spot, a spatula works good. You're gonna fold it in. You don't wanna over mix it. Uh, that's why I'm not using my mixer today because you wanna just mix it by hand because you wanna over mix it. All right, as you can see, it's nice and mixed. And now we're gonna pour it in a prepared pan. I have an eight by eight pan with some parchment paper. All right, now I'm gonna put this in the oven for about 30 to 35 minutes at 325. And once it comes out, I'm gonna show you how to make uh, homemade cream cheese uh, frosting to put on top. So while it's cooling, we can make the frosting. All right, I'll see you in about a half hour. Hello, so I have blueberry brownies that are ready to come out. Well, uh, they're a little on the greenish side. So next time, just add a little bit more um, blue food coloring, but they're gonna still taste amazing. Uh, so those have to cool, but why they cool, we're going to make some homemade cream cheese frosting to put on top. In my mixer, I have an eight ounce uh, package of cream cheese softened in a stick of unsalted butter melted. And I'm also going to um, turn that on the mixer on low and beat that together. All right, I'm going to add a tablespoon of vanilla extract and a tad bit of salt. I'm just gonna eye it, you don't wanna to put too much. And then I'm gonna mix that till it's somewhat smooth before I add the powdered sugar. Now I'm gonna add four cups of powdered sugar. I'm gonna put it back on my mixer. And I'm gonna mix that. And voila, we have homemade cream cheese frosting. All right, so that's our cream cheese frosting. 
we're gonna let that um, sit up, up aside until uh, brownies are cool. So let me let those cool for about 20 minutes. Then we're gonna put some cream cheese frosting and taste how amazing these blue velvet brownies taste. See in a little bit. Hey, welcome back to Cooking Mark and Oreo. Oreo is excited. I'm finally done in the kitchen. He's ready for some cuddling and some playtime. But here's our finished products of our blue velvet brownies covered with homemade cream cheese frosting. Let's see how that tastes. That's delicious, very decadent. I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out uh, all our videos. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the bell button. Make sure you subscribe and we'll see you next time.